Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Since last time I did some shopping off screen, so let's take a look at what we got. I got uh, three fire rods, ice rods, and four thunder rods. Um, we'll be picking up another fire and ice rod later, because I want to have four of each of those. And I also picked up a stout spear, uh, Edgar and uh, Mog can use those. Darts are probably the most powerful weapon uh, as far as battle power goes um, in the world right now. So that's pretty good for Setzer there, but I don't really plan on using him for a while, so I don't care. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, Mystery Veils. I got two of those. I think that that's the best piece of headgear in the game for Terra and uh, Salas there because it boosts your magic power by four, it increases your magic evade by 10%. It's amazing. I love it. And we also got Gaia Gears. I wanted to get four of those because they absorb Earth Elemental attacks, and that'll be pretty useful in the relatively near future. Not right now, but soon enough. So I equipped a Mystery Veil on Terra and a Gaia Gear on Locke there. So let's talk to that old guy at the edge of town, uh, the only house that I haven't been to yet. See if he knows anything about the Espers. If you came here earlier in the game, he just wouldn't really say a whole lot to you. So, that wouldn't work too well. Oh, kind of like Gaw, huh? Alright, we got another character. You seen any Espers around here? You know, maybe uh, screaming and yelling, flying in the sky? Yeah, that's right, Locke. Back him into a corner. Can't tell you anything about those espers. Not gonna do it. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess maybe we can search around a little more. What's a little girl doing here living with an old man? It's one fishy village. Oh, hey, we get a second character. All right, Realm, one of my favorite characters in the game. She's just so pure and innocent. What's wrong with magic? They seem to be a little uh, paranoid around here. Yeah, watch out for the dog. Nice doggy. Yeah, go to your room, Realm. Stop playing with the dog. The ninja dog's chasing after her. She's gonna bite her head off. A apparently, the dog likes her. That's weird. Why does the ninja dog like Realm and not anyone else? They sort of explain why later. Not so directly. Hmm. Okay, I guess. We might want to get our dog back. Such a loyal dog. Do ninjas really have dogs? Like in real life? Just curious. I mean, what makes a ninja dog better than an ordinary dog? You tell me, viewers. Make up something. See what's upstairs. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything here unless they have a hidden treasure around here. All right, we got the memento ring that protects you from instant death attacks. Not too useful right now, but uh, maybe later in the game. Well, it is useful later in the game because there's very few things that will uh, actually protect you from instant death. Okay, well, no one around here seems to be able to or or they're unwilling to tell us about the Espers. But apparently, now that we're friends with Strago, they've uh, lowered the price at the end for us. All right, cheapest one in the game. So we rest up here and explore more of Sea Island. But of course, we're insomniacs, so you know we can never just you know get a cheap price at an inn. What's wrong with Realm? Oh no! Don't you have a fire brigade? Hey, Shadow, come on. There's a fire. Use one of your water scrolls. Or not. Where'd Interceptor go? Oh, he ran off the screen. That's right. 
nuts. I'm paying you to guard me while I sleep. I'm paying you with food. Your house? You got the biggest house around here, kid? Maybe we could try an, an ice spell or something. I don't know. Oh! That doesn't look good at all. What's he doing? Oh, so he can cast magic. Not very good magic, apparently. Oh, so that's why they were all paranoid. They apparently don't like magic around here for whatever reason. So those are the magic words for your spell. Flames be gone. I, I don't think that's very convincing. I just think you're talking out of your ass there, Strago. Okay, I guess they're, they're all going to uh, try to help out to get rid of the fire. So we have three old guys, a kid, and two, two able-bodied men and a lady trying to put out the fire. Whoa! Looks like it's just making it worse. I told you kids to stop playing with your fire rods! It'll make you go blind. Or burn your house down. Either that or Realm was playing with one of their fire rods. Well, okay, we gotta go inside and, uh, rescue Realm. Oh, this doesn't look very nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, you, if you touch the walls, you're fine, don't worry about that. I mean, yeah, the entire house is on fire, but... Well, anyway, I gotta, uh, equip Strago appropriately, and, well, everyone appropriately, really, and, uh, be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's take a look at our equipment setup here. Now, I've got Locke equipped with Blizzard Swords, because... Well, what kind of enemies do you think we're going to run into around here? So I've got him with those, Genji Glove, Atlas Armlet. Uh, Strago, I've equipped with the Ice Rods and the Genji Glove, actually, because rods actually deal a good amount of damage in this game compared to Final Fantasy 4 or 5. So I really like that on him to conserve MP. And Terra, I've got with the Flame Saber just for the magic power boost, not even to actually attack with it. Uh, keep Locke and Strago in the front row there. Now, Strago is the blue mage of the game. He has Aqua Rake, which will be useful here. It's also Wind Elemental, in addition to Water Elemental in this game. Uh, suffers from split damage. I would only use that if you're fighting a large group of enemies. So let's see what kind of enemies we got around here. Balloons! Okay. Oh! Six of them. I guess one balloon wasn't enough, huh? Now, in order to learn a new blue magic spell, I want Terra to cast fire on these guys, because it'll trigger a counterattack for a new blue magic spell to learn. The way blue magic learning works in this game is... Oh, okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Well, it's random, but the way blue magic learning works in this game is if uh, Strago is alive or not inflicted with a status ailment, and he sees the blue magic spell work, you'll learn it. You don't actually have to... Uh, what is it? be hit with the spell, as long as he witnesses it being cast. Um, so what I'm trying to do is get fire, cast fire on these guys to try and get them to counterattack. because sometimes they'll do that. There we go, got it. And we learn Exploder. You see, it'll hit Terra there, but Strago will still learn it. Terra gained the level, I had her on Zone Seek, and we learned Exploder. Not that I really care about learning it, but it's there. So now let's get Terra back to Gollum here. The enemies give a lot of experience around here, so uh, keep a sharp eye on your levels there. Now Strago, being a mage-type character, I do want him to use Zone Seek uh, for Esper bonuses. So that's the way to go there. Locke still should be using Bismarck. Um, so yeah, there. Um, I also eventually want him to learn Rasp and Osmos, but you know I'm not going to actively work on it. I'll just learn it as I'm using Zone Seek to gain levels. Now, Strago, I actually do want to teach some magic spells, too, but a little differently than the other characters, because Terra and Salas have so much time on their hands to 
uh, learn magic spells, but Strago and Realm, you get them so late in the game, they don't have as much time to learn spells. So what I'm doing is I'm going to split up the, res the spell learning responsibility between the two of them, since I'm not going to do any actual grinding. Uh, Realm, uh, well, I just spoiled it, but it's obvious. We're going to get Realm in our party. We've named her. So, But basically, uh, what happens with Realm, what I want to do, is I want her to learn the basic spells, like fire, ice, bolt, cure spells, life spells, things like that. White, mostly black, ma white and mostly black magic spells. Strago, I want to stick to the uh, oddball spells, like status inflicting spells, sleep, mute, slow. Things like that. So I'm going to have him start on Siren, eventually move on to Stray. And then we'll move on with this place and try to rescue Realm here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.